giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. you in the first community voted for your favorite teams in first and we're going to count them all down tonight while raising money for a great cause to support frc 7329 the afghan dreamers so get your donations ready or really just go watch some free ads you get some bits <laughs> and you can donate that to us as well so uh for first updates now i'm tyler rolds i'm justin montoys and i'm christina tia and our producer tonight is nick olson so as tyler mentioned this evening is our popularity pull for charity and it's that time of year we're uh it's the time of year to close up the book on Power Play by recognizing, or Power Up, by recognizing some of the best teams in FRC. Better name. Yeah, right. Power Play would be a better name. <laughs> uh, you know how I like alliteration. Uh, we take this time to help a team or organization in need. Um, and this year, we, we've selected Team 7329, the Afghan Dreamers. And thanks to FRC 1477, Texas Torque will be bringing awareness to all girls team teams who are traveling to compete in the first Texas districts and desperately need funding to make their season possible. Yeah, and the uh, Afghan Dreamers, if you haven't heard about them uh, too much, and, and make sure you check out their posts by uh, Texas Torque on Chief Delphi, uh, but they've uh, done this pretty cool offer, and this is why we're doing this, is that they said if, uh, if anybody or organization can raise uh, $2,000, uh, they're going to place a logo on the robot. So we thought, hey, that'd be pretty dope. Let's go ahead and uh, try doing something like that. And so we're turning to you to make that happen, to see what we can do. Fun will be chipping in as well. Uh, and we've already started to get donors. And of course, uh, we'll talk about how you can do that in just a little bit. Uh, but here's the deal. If we raise the $2,000, you are going to get your name or your screen name on their robot. Like your name will be listed on their robot, which is pretty spectacular and pretty awesome but we have to hit that two thousand dollar mark we're still going to donate proceeds no matter what to there but we have to do that as well too so make sure you do that and the more you donate the larger your name will be on the robot so amazingly we've already received two hundred dollars uh from offline donors ben martin from frc 225 tech fire donated donated 100 hours and frc 125 the neutrons donated 100 hours so already we're down to 1800 to go and i know that we can make it happen so you'll notice the stream or on the stream, there's a stream boss with a fun logo that has 18,000 hit points left. Every penny donated would count against the stream boss. And we need to get it down to zero to defeat the boss for the last time uh, <laughs> and get your name on, on their robot for the 2019 season. And you can donate through bits, subscribing to fun, or donating at streamlabs.com backslash first updates now. And don't forget that if you and your parents, because <laughs> everybody's parents too, have Amazon Prime, um, that you can get a free subscription credit every month. So you can use this free subscription and fun will donate two dollars and fifty cents on your behalf yeah and something i mentioned too is we we did already get some uh, additional offline uh donations so we'll talk about that in just a little bit uh, as well too uh but we do have some awesome giveaways tonight from our friends at analog devices of two gyro boards which uh can absolutely help change your autonomous game by giving your robot a sense of direction so make sure you uh, check this out and uh, you can always look at it at analog.com forward slash first to get yourself some example code all right and um, also our friends over at frc 1720 fixed gears have graciously donated two sets of bat hawks so they're pretty awesome and these yeah. devices plug right into your batteries to provide instant voltage readings and can stay in your battery for weeks. And this is a must have for every single team. We have them on the neutrons and we love them. So make sure that you enter so you can get your chance to win. So Christine, uh, you're also uh, stepping up to give away some of your items from uh, Wordplay All Day. So can you tell us what you've got going on for that? Yeah, so I just released the um, Katherine Johnson sticker. I actually did this drawing a while ago, and I felt like it wasn't finished, so I left it alone, and then I looked at it the other day and decided to launch it as stickers. So that's going to be a giveaway tonight. 
And then Tyler has so graciously decided to do a, uh, I tried my best towel. So <laughs> yeah, really if you guys didn't see this at, uh, Kristen, you had this at the IRI auction, right? And how much yeah. did this go for at the IRI auction? like over a hundred dollars. Yeah. So, wow. so this is a great opportunity for a great cost to that. Um, by the way, everybody watching right now, I need you to do me a favor. If you can just go uh, either on the FRC discord or Reddit or cheat Delphi or, or whatever social media you thing you do, get some people to come in and just watch this. I don't even care if they donate or not. Uh, I just want them to be aware of uh, what's going on in the first community because a lot of our audience is from either the States or from Canada, right? But first is such a global program. And, and honestly, uh, a lot of us in the States and Canada are pretty ignorant to what's going on around the world. And uh, this year to support uh, the Afghan Dreamers, an uh, all girls team uh, who uh, is struggling to compete. They, they have to come to the States to compete in this circumstance. They competed in Canada last year. Uh, now they're trying to compete in Texas. That's a lot of money they have to raise. And I think us doing a very small part on first updates now, you know, we have thousands of people uh, who watch our shows at different times. Uh, I don't think it's too much to ask that everybody chip in a buck or so. And like I said, even if, uh, even if you can't do that, get other people on and tell them about that. Uh, we need as many people as we can on for the stream tonight. Uh, we always do have some last minute giveaways too. And if your team is interested in doing that, do me a favor to shoot me a private message here on Twitch under first updates now. So if your team wants to give away like a hat or a t-shirt or something like that, shoot me a message and we'll get that on uh, for you as well too. So uh, we'd love to have your giveaways and we'll give your team some well-deserved recognition for doing so as well. For sure. Um, so unlike other streams, if you're uh, familiar with FRC Top 25, usually it's throughout the competition oh, season so and we take your votes and compile a list and go through it pretty um, quickly and, and um, consistently but unlike other streams we're going to interrupt that countdown tonight frequently to give away the prize we've talked about and also recognize uh people who are who are donating throughout the show so get your donations in early so you'll be el eligible to win prizes during the duration of this stream yeah and by the way if, if you didn't notice uh if you donate like ten dollars or more during the stream uh karthik's face pops up and stuff so you can get some new things <laughs> you probably haven't seen before uh on the stream because it's pretty awesome so uh yeah make sure you do that guys we, we'd love to appreciate that uh, as well as we go through. So awesome. so face is going to pop up. Yeah, and then it's, it yells, unstoppable. <laughs> uh, oh, man, that's fantastic. So before we get to the countdown, Tyler, how are we doing on donations so far? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. Let me, uh, of course, I, I bring it up and starts reloading. But uh, yeah, let's <laughs> read off some that we've had uh, so far. Uh, we had a $100 donation we mentioned before from Ben Martin from 225 uh, we had a hundred dollar donation from uh, from you guys in the Neutron. So who who was that donated, Christine? So that is the one and only Henry Sick. He is an alumni of the Tigertrons. I think they're two two two, out of Tunkahannock, Pennsylvania, and he uh, is one of the greatest mechanical engineers on our teams. Awesome. He's also on the back of one of our limited edition shirts. So nice. people, let's go face. Yeah. And if you guys need a link to donate, just hit uh, exclamation explain in chat and then we'll pop up the link for that. Um, also want to give some recognition backup boy, tier one sub uh, schedule tier one sub uh, Justin with the tier one sub. Thank you. Uh, Kirtanjek, 4,000 bits donated to the uh, charity stream. Thank you. It's suspicious with the tier one sub Pence two with the tier one sub uh, 10 months of support from the overlord 6190 uh, Clint Ott with 13 months of support and Heather 2041 coming in with a $10 donation. Uh, so we're working down that bit, boss, guys. Keep it going and keep it up. Uh, so we're going to be talking about, uh, Justin, the countdown in just a little bit. we got a couple surprises as we go through as well, too, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you'll pro hopefully realize that tonight's going to be a little bit more laid back, a little bit slower yeah. through the list, uh, and just trying to raise some money for a good cause. But um, without further ado, shall we get started on the list? Yeah, let's do that. So, let, so this list here, this is just... <laughs> We didn't really audit this or anything. Like a lot of times we get people try to rig the polls and do stuff like that. We didn't really care for this, right? It's just like, you know what, screw it. You know, whatever we do, this is who you think is popular. You know, I don't care if you vote for your own team, all that stuff like that. All righty. So for the poll for charity, FRC top 25 and 25th spot or at tied for 25th, uh, the first team we'll talk about is team 330 from Hermosa Beach, California. It's the Beach Bots. So the Beach Bots had a record of 39 and 9 in official play on the 2018 season, winning two regionals, the Aerospace Regional and the Los Angeles Regional. So 330 obviously has been a, a great team for many, many years, right? A championship win a couple of years ago uh, with, with other championship wins as well. Uh, Galileo Division out in the quarter, so I think a little bit early exit this year for uh, 
for 330. Um, so I'm sure a little, maybe a little bit of disappoint that, disappointment with that, but always builds great teams uh, or great robots every year and is a great team. Yeah, definitely. I remember the beach bots from my first year in FRC in 2005. Uh, they went to Einstein with a, just a, a great, simple, um, a simple robot, just a single high pivot arm, and they won the championship. And you know, all these years later, they're still producing great robots. So mm. it's a great track record for 330. <clears throat> Definitely. All right, so we'll move on and talk about the other team uh, tied for 25th, and that's uh, a Hall of Fame team, Team 27 from Clarkston, Michigan, Clarkston High School. It's Team Rush, tw 62 and 26 in official matches in 2018, and were winners of the Livonia District event, the Daywood Division, and the 2019 Detroit Championship. Want to give a big shout out real quick to OMG Robots 5940, $25 donated. Uh, for the charity stream, thank you very much. Wow. And you get a little unstoppable cart thing coming up on the screen for you. <laughs> Wait, did I miss it? You must have. <laughs> I, I just, I don't watch the stream live. So I, I wanted to try yeah. to catch it in a preview or something. Oh, like you want to hear it as yeah. it comes up? Yeah. Uh, I just have you, gotta to... be, you gotta be quick. I tell yeah. you. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rush is here though. I mean, kind of a, almost a, I don't know if I dare say a comeback season for them, but a, a great year. Yeah. Uh, by, yeah. by Rush, I think. Uh, really, really looking sharp, really looking good. So uh, definitely with that. Overlord6190, thank you for your dollar donation. I think, uh, too, like there were so many powerhouse Michigan teams to see that they did so well, too. Like, yeah. That yeah. speaks volumes. Yeah, you, you know, and this is something that we've talked about a lot. Uh, Clint out FRC, $20 says, cheers, guys. Thanks for doing that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, you know, with, with 27 in, in Michigan, I, I think Michigan has like started to live in this weird silo, right? Because there's what, like 400 teams, mm -hmm. something like that in Michigan now. I mean, do you really know if you're not from Michigan, do you really know any of the teams anymore? Right. I mean, the other maybe 27 is a two digit number. So I can probably think of that one, right? But, well, and they're all over first branding. Like yeah. every poster has <laughs> yeah, kidding, right? water on it. Yeah. <laughs> And, and somebody mentioned uh, Steam Rice uh, mentioned recombine the championships. I, you know that's always a big reason too. So if you're if you're from Texas, you really don't know who the hell anybody from Michigan is because you don't see them <laughs> yeah. at all the entire year. But uh, one thing I want to mention with 27, I think it's really interesting. This year, their first regional was at the Central New York Regional, and they were seven and seven going mm -hmm. out in the quarterfinals. So think about that. And then their next event, Milford District event, and FIM go out in the quarterfinals. Yeah, and then they just start skyrocketing from there. Uh, you know, winning another district event. Uh, how far did they get at, at, at state champs? I think it was only the semifinals or something like that. So to see like where they came from to where they started going, uh, and how they finished this year, obviously with a, a championship win with Strike Force, absolutely amazing. Yeah, I was at the, their first event uh, in New York in Utica, and they just you, you kind of get a sense of like you know the robot looked good, it looked well put together, just were not performing well at all. Um, so to see, you know, to see them at the beginning and then our team was at the Detroit championship. So to see them at the end, uh, was kind of a interesting, uh, way to follow them through, through the season, but a great team. Unstoppable. <clears throat> Absolutely. And, oh, you just missed it again. $7 and 11 cents. Oh, I, I see his little head down there now. <laughs> <laughs> From uh, inkling six says, uh, would, would be 20 if it was Canadian dollars. <laughs> Or if, if Canadian money was worth more. So fair, fair enough. I appreciate it. I th what is the, the conversion rate? That's probably about 10 Canadian dollars. Oh, guessing, it used so. to be, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who knows the way it's going. So I, right. I was, I was just in Europe by the way. And like, man, it is nice to have a strong dollar right now because <laughs> like, I was able to get a lot more than I thought I would. Cause you're, it's like like, a, oh. you're like a King over there. Yeah. I mean, it's still stuff still expensive there, but it was, it was nice to, to have a little more buying power. Yeah, for sure. All right, should we move on down the list? Yeah. Christine, why don't you take this one, the 24th ranked team? Yeah, so in the 24th ranked spot, we have 2471 Mean Machine. They're out of the PNW district, and they were 53, 15, and is that a one? Yep. 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 So they were two district wins and PNW district champs winners, so pretty solid. Fun fact for 2471, they are the only team in the top 25 with a tie. Oh, we're all really? Yes. <laughs> that is kind of odd. Uh, it, fun it FTC Nathan <laughs> coming in with uh, $20. I uh, said, let's donate the heck out of this thing. Here's 20 bucks. Thanks, Nathan. Appreciate wow, thank that. Thank you very much. 
thanks for your su- support for the Afghan dreamers. So, uh, yeah, keep willing that that bot that bit bit boss bot boss down. I don't know what the heck is it called. Stream boss. Stream boss. There we go. I already feel like I'm I'm owning up on that drunk stream that we promised from last <laughs> year. I'm not, but <laughs> I feel like it right now. So. Yeah, but getting back to twenty four seventy one really quick. Their robot yeah. still is one of my favorite of the whole year. Uh, the the elevator over the back combination turned out to be really powerful. Um, they could score from the front and over the back, which really let them score super, super high cubes. I know that a lot of teams, ours included, was kind of limited. You know, if, the, if you were losing the scale and it was you're on the third level, it was a struggle for, for many teams. As you can see right there in the, in the video, it was not a struggle uh, for that robot. So no. definitely one of my favorites of the whole year. Yeah, they had a fantastic autonomous mode. Uh, were, were they? I think they were able to get a four cube at some point. Yeah, and Christine, you got to be happy with their color scheme. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> Something I want to uh, mention too, just in regards to the stream. So, uh, you know, 2000 is going to be a very tall hill. I think we can do it. I think there's a good chance to it. But uh, I know our buddy Caltran uh, brought up uh, in the chat that uh, there that we might do a puppy bowl on air if we're able to reach the 2000. So I, I know a lot of you have been excited to see many puppies that are <laughs> all it's of our hosts. <laughs> I, I, can it happen? We'll see. If we get there, we'll make it happen. So, uh, so as, as someone that's kind of an outsider in that whole discussion, what's yeah. a puppy bowl? <laughs> no, I am too. So. Uh, it's just a bunch of puppies. Doing what? Doing what they want. I don't know. <laughs> Doing what they want. <laughs> All right. Possible. A couple of donations coming in. Cadell5024 with a $20 donation saying it's twenty six seventy eight in Canadian. So, so <laughs> That works out. I thought that was one of the teams that were up here all of a sudden. Is it? No, it's not yet. Uh, or it is not. Uh, and then we also have the Overlord 6190 coming in with another 254 donation. Yeah, guys, get your get your 254 donations in. Just multiple 254 <laughs> donations uh, coming in. Good stuff, guys. All right, let's move on to the number 16 spot, or 23rd <laughs> spot, which is Team 16 Bomb Squad. <laughs> Freudian slip. Whoops. So they were 3711 and had two regional wins this year. Yeah, so uh, BBS taking uh, the Arkansas uh, Rock City Regional and the Midwest Regional uh, this year. We uh, we interviewed them uh, for one of our uh, Behind uh, behind the Bumpers episodes. So make sure you check that out. They have a, uh, you know why I look for the Bomb Squad is they, they tend to have pretty awesome reveal videos every year, Justin. Yeah, absolutely. Some of the best, and you know, we always look forward to them. And a great season for them. And they even went to uh, the, at the Houston Championship. They ranked third in the Carver Division. Um, but uh, unfortunate and certainly unexpected out in the quarterfinals mm-hmm. again. Really tight matches. They lost quarterfinal match one uh, by just uh, four points. And then they narrowly won and then match two and then lost in match three. So tight matches. Um, but another good season for the bomb squad. I, I was over watching, actually watching those matches because when I heard they, they went down, I, I, I missed the first match and I watched the other two in the quarters there. And yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a bit surprising to see them go, but losing some good teams. Uh, uh, Miss Daisy, uh, who was playing uh, over in the south, uh, the High Fives, which is a team that uh, you don't really hear too much about uh, mm-hmm. from Colorado because uh, you have 16-19 dominating so much there, but uh, doing really well. Uh, and then they were also allied with uh, old school 175 Buzz Robotics. So just a funny story if you think about that. You had uh, a team from the, um, from the New England district and a team from uh, Mar or whatever the hell they call Mar nowadays mm-hmm. uh, playing at South Champs. So that was kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, on the same alliance. Mm-hmm. Well, that and two Hall of Fame teams that just like oh, haven't yeah. had necessarily the strongest showing since their, you know, Hall of Fame wins. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was excited for that. My dad was with um, 175 in Houston. And when they got picked, he was so excited. I was I bet. Wait, what team are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> I know I, I dove us way off <laughs> way off the end there but yeah but 16, 16 a great uh, has been a perennial great team uh always great sword drives and and cool cool looking robots every year for sure all right so we'll move on what we'll brings a little bit of an international flavor to the top 25 list for charity in the 22nd spot we have team 1241 theory 6 78 and 17 overall with two district wins and a district chairman's award um in their 2018 season uh and winners of the tesla division as well too oh, i missed that with 20, oh, yeah five blue banners this year five man. blue banner season they are awesome yeah but, uh, so uh, i don't know have you have either one of you two have you met anybody on 1241 have you had the opportunity yeah. to talk to them I've, yeah i met a couple of them yep 
Yeah, like these yeah, guys, so these guys are awesome. We're lucky sure. enough to work with them with the Compass Line stuff, and uh, they're just awesome people. Super friendly. I will say oh. they're my favorite Canadian team, shamelessly. <laughs> Um, something I want to mention too, uh, with with twelve forty one, uh, taking the uh, number one seat as well too at in their division at Ontario uh, Championships is uh, definitely quite impressive, uh, and then rank two in the uh, Tesla division, um, and then going with uh, uh, twenty fifty six uh, yeah. with it and making you know I how close were those guys to getting on the Einstein like or to the Einstein finals I should say uh, one one climb away an unfortunate missed climb and. I, I think they would have had a really good shot at winning championships. I think they could have given uh, Russian Strike Force a run for their money. Yeah, definitely. So the um, another, we just uh, just a quick correction. So actually, we said they won two district events. One of their event wins was a regional. So they won the Canadian Pacific Regional, oh, yeah. the McMaster University district event. Yeah. It's still kind of well, just like the United States, we have some regionals and some some districts. Um, so it's quite the diverse year, winning a championship division, a district chairman's award, a district event, and a regional. I mean, that's all, a complete the team right year. there, right? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, ser- <laughs> seriously. Really uh, hey, guys, don't Sorry. forget to get your uh, Prime subs in as well, too. You can subscribe for free. If you or your parents have Amazon Prime, make sure you link that. And uh, for every Prime sub we get, we'll donate $2.50 uh, to the – uh, Afghan dreamers as well. So it's completely free. You can do that. Another option, if you want to get some uh, free bits, which is Twitch's currency, uh, you can just click the watch ad. So if you if you don't want to purchase bits, which is totally cool, um, you can go ahead and just uh, watch a few ads, donate a few cents, even, at, even 50 cents or something like that. I'm sure this team appreciates that. And we definitely appreciate you. And uh, uh, XPOS Assassin, thank you very much uh, for your Twitch Prime sum. And you're getting $2.50. Donate on your behalf. And Alt Pseudo with a Prime sub, for three months in a row. Thanks a lot. You've been a subscriber way longer than that, though, Alt Pseudo. So, but still, uh, thank you very fact, much. One of my best friends just got a dog and named it Pseudo. <laughs> wow. Like the programming. Uh, FRC for uh, life with the Prime sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Guys, I think we should do a giveaway. What do you think? I was just going to say that. Yeah. Let's do a giveaway on here. Um, so, uh, we're going to, I got to get my list up here as well. Um, what do you want? What do we want to give away? I'm going to leave this really open. So we got. Uh, uh, how about a battery beak? How, a, uh, uh, battery beak. Bad, Bad hawks. Yeah. <laughs> I told you this is going to be just like, uh, like we're just going to be so random here, and it's very disorganized. But we're just here to have some fun and lay back and just enjoy that a lot. I'm having uh, fun. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. So my, my typing, I'm just going to pick out a uh, random person. So once again, if you, uh, if, if you donate at all, if you do a sub, if you do bits or anything like that, you're going to be entered for giveaways guys. So get your giveaways or get your uh, donations in as early as possible. Cause we're going to be drawing right now uh, using a random number generator on here. So we have, let's see how many donors we have a lot. All right. So Justin, I'm just going to let you pick this. Give me a uh, number between one and 52. Mm, 30. 30. 30 is going to go to Heather. 2481 is going to take it. Heather, 2041, you are going to win the uh, awesome, super cool from 1720. They are called the... Unstoppable. All right, let's see if we can get back in, everybody. I think our producer, Nick, had a little bit of issues there, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I know I don't have my video up yet. 
All right, now I got my video. Well, that was interesting. I, I, I couldn't say Bat Hawks quick enough. I think it booted me because of that. <laughs> but yeah, Bat, Bat Hawks in there. We'll, we'll let our producer Nick uh, reset things. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, something I do want to mention as well, too. We just had another uh, donation come in. FRC for life with $30 as well. Thank you very much. Altsudo with wow. a bitty. Hack Yojin with uh, 12 bits as well. But FRC for life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your $30 donation to fun uh justin i don't think we have video from you that's a wrap. so we'll see if we can get that back get that back up issues always happen right guys that's okay oh man that's uh... i just blame nick because you you can't hear him so we just blame him oh man uh, he, he can speak he kicked us off <laughs> so can you just reload the link uh, half sham, half wow with a uh, prime sub. Thank you very much. $2.50 donated on your behalf to uh, the mm. Afghan dreamers. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, we're back. We're, we are back. We're just getting our cams up here. So I think the only camera missing is Christine's camera now. This isn't valid meeting ID. Yeah. <laughs> Something wrong with this link. Yeah. Christine, Christine, can you talk about what, what you're making, by the way? What I'm making? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What can you talk about? What Justin's making? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't think she can hear us right now. So we'll see if we can get her back on. Uh, somebody asked, uh, "How far is the donation uh, progress so far?" And uh, we are at uh, out of two that we're over five hundred dollars now, guys. Awesome. Yeah. So pretty sweet. Uh, so total uh, out of it, we have. Uh, Fourteen hundred and forty-eight dollars and forty-four cents left to raise tonight, guys. Yeah, so doing really well. So thank you everybody for your uh, tremendous donations. It, it's 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 awe-inspiring, uh, just the efforts uh, that people can put in and, and how they come together uh, in fun. We really do uh, thank you very very much. So looks like we got everybody's cans back up. We just got to do a little bit of readjustments. I think you should just keep Justin and Christine as they were. <laughs> yeah. Why not? We're we're in a very open show here on fun. <laughs> yeah, we're really hoping we get the two thousands wall guys. Like it'd be so cool uh to be able to place a, a logo with everybody's name on it uh and have it on the robot. Um I personally I'd love to do like if we can do like the fun logo, but then like work everybody's name into like the white space or something. I think that'd be cool, but we'll be kind of open for some suggestion. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh for that as well. So I think we're we're back up. What team were we even on? I don't even know what we were talking about here. Yeah, just gave away the bad hawks so that was going to uh who was i going to again that was going to heather, I think. heather yeah I, I should probably write this down <laughs> like who's actually winning uh because some people they might not be on and we'll uh reach out to them i uh, just got a uh sub there from uh brett 225 so i'm guessing you're from 225 thank you very much for your uh subscription your tier one subscription so we'll be donating on your behalf all right let's move on with our next team guys all right, so next up in the 21st spot, a decent team uh, from Boston, Massachusetts, 125, the Neutrons, 74 and 23 overall, two district wins, uh, and the New England District Championship Chairman's Award win. Yeah. And the Judges Award at um, Champs for our oh. subdivision. Which award did you get? Judges Award. No. Uh Awesome. So, Christine, something I want to I want to ask you uh, in regards to 125. You know, obviously, from a robot wise, you guys have always performed at a high level. Maybe a little bit less this year than what you're expecting, but I want to talk about your chairman's award uh, on here. So, w when we talked, we talked about 1241 just a bit ago, right? And 1241 complete team, right? And I think the neutrons kind of fall into that same perspective. They all they do great with the robot, and they do great with chairman's. Can you talk about just how important like chairman's fits into the culture of 125? Yeah. So it's been something that's been a part of the team for a long, long time. Um, it wasn't really recognized by the judges or put in award submissions probably until around 2014, 2013-ish. Um, but the Boston area is a tough place to run an FRC team and sustain an FRC team. So the Neutrons have always been a huge part of making sure that teams sustain and grow. And these past few years, we've been able to do it in a lot of different ways. And our students have been like really gung-ho about doing it within their own 
communities. So it's been really cool to work with all these students on the team and then also like the Compass Alliance teams that we're working with as well. So Can you tell us a little bit about the Compass Alliance? Yeah, so it is a consortium of teams from around the world. Um, and we were all kind of doing the same things with how we would help other teams remotely or in person throughout the season. And 3132 got us all together and said, you know, we should all do something big together. And the Compass Alliance was what kind of came from that. Um, we wanted to create a one-stop shop for FRC teams and mentors, students, volunteers uh, to kind of be, be able to find help for, you know, chairman stuff, how to, you know, build stuff. They won't, if you want to learn how to do something a little more complex than you already know. <laughs> this is a great stream, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> she might have muted. I'm not sure. No, um, my so, going oh, that's fine. So one thing I'll say, <laughs> as we had coming, oh, guys, wow. you guys are lighting this on fire. It's going so well. It's lit tonight uh, in this house. Got another donation from uh, uh, Fun FTC Nathan. Another twenty dollars. He says another twenty dollars to help us out. So thank you very much. Uh, as well as we go through, we need the donations. We need the help with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope there's, I hope you're okay over there. So, <laughs> so hopefully we'll see as we go through, but 125, a great team. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it. This is like the, we need to call this like the FRC top 25 awkward stream of the year. Uh, cause it's going so well, but you know what? We're getting a lot of donations and that's what matters, uh, to help out, uh, once again, uh, the Afghan dreamers who are a team from Afghanistan looking to come and compete here in the States, uh, out of our $2,000 goal, we've raised, uh, almost $600 already. So thank you, uh, everybody for your help and your participation to make this happen. Once again, don't forget, you can, uh, get bits of the fun. All bits donated to the stream will be going to the Afghan dreamers. If you subscribe, we'll be making a donation on your behalf. Uh, excuse me for that as well. Uh, and you can choose to uh, donate uh, directly to a link. So if you want to use uh, uh, PayPal or something like that, there's a link we just put in the chat um, with our, well, I just put our Discord link because I'm not thinking. Um, <laughs> but on there, once again, uh, streamlabs.com forward slash first updates now, and that will get you the opportunity to make a donation if you'd like to do that for the Afghan dreamers. Christina, any update on the fire? uh seems to have stopped beeping in here okay you're safe that's good <laughs> for now yes <laughs> all right so we'll head into our list uh once again remember this is a just a popularity poll just based on uh 200 voters uh in the past week or so and in the 20th spot they voted team 217 the thunder chickens right. 79 wins only 14 losses two district wins uh in the carver division win at the detroit championship yeah, Thunder Chickens, another great year out of another Michigan team, right? And a couple uh, more of the old Relic teams that we're starting to see come back and have some yeah. awesome events. Relic teams. Again. Yeah, and, and, and they lost in the finals to, uh, uh, to 27 and 2767. So, yeah. I mean, it's crazy to think that you had uh, – how many Michigan teams were there? Four, I think four Michigan teams played on the Einstein finals. Yeah. It's like crazy. This, it is rigged. Somebody put before, like, it, it's rigged, it's rigged right. from Michigan. And, it, I mean, it's true. What, I mean, I don't even know what percentage of teams come from Michigan for the championship. I think it's, like, 30% or something like that. Yeah. We got corrected. Six out of eight teams on Einstein were – or oh, in the finals were Michigan eight? teams. Sorry. I, it's hard for me to count the fourth row out. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, you know, 217 Thunder Chickens, like I said, they, they – Heather Heyday, quite a few years ago, I think they dropped off the radar for a couple of years, and now we're starting to see, once again, making phenomenal robots. Uh, always cool looking. You, that green just stands out so much, Justin and Christine. Yeah, I like, for, too, that their uh, drive coach has been, like, the same guy, I think, for a while. Or at least he looks really familiar from a long, long time ago. Is his name Paul Copioli? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was just one of those teams where the mentors have been there forever yeah so it must be really cool to be on a team like that where you know you've seen the really early days and how it's evolved now so. oh boy oh fire started again what are you guys doing over there like that's what i want to know <laughs> okay i'm sure she can't tell us right now we'll, we'll get an update from christina a little bit once the fire goes away 
But I really like, I just like, is Brando just a pyro or something like that in the background? Just <laughs> doing some weird experiments. Yeah. See, I knew that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So uh, that's going to lead us uh, to our 19th team, and that's going to be uh, Team 97, the High Rollers. Uh, you know what? 33 and 17 this year, winners of the Las Vegas Regional. Uh, a team that I think this really shows from the popularity poll just how much poll 987 really has, right? Yeah. You have a, uh, a championship uh, chairman's Hall of Fame team, a team that perennially does well every year, but a little bit of a hiccup this year, I think, uh, with them. However, I was uh, really impressed with them uh, going into the uh, championships at the Turing Division, uh, where they uh, paired up with uh, Team Taters and able to make it into the finals, uh, going down against, uh, I think it was they, they lost against the number eight seed, if I remember correctly, uh, in, in the finals. Um, so they were the number three seed uh, going in. They had to overcome uh, some pretty crazy matches. If you look at that division, uh, my money, when I looked at that division, was really on... Uh, was it the one with the Falcons, right? The number two alliance originally, and they, they ended up beating them. I, I thought there was no way the number three alliance was going to uh, win it because you have the number uh, two alliance with uh, Falcon Robotics, uh, who had an absolutely lights out robot this year, uh, mm -hmm. and then 1806 SWAT as well, too. Yeah. Uh, able to beat them uh, in three matches uh, and then uh, going into the finals and going down against uh, 1296, uh, the Full Metal Jackets captain the number eight alliance. But I, I think a great finish to an okay year by 97 by their perspective, but I think they finished really strong. For sure. And I think it was a, it was kind of a tough year or a tough year. It seemed like a little bit for teams that come, you know, these teams that ended up so well at the end, like 27, you know, did not do well at their first event. 97 did not do well at their first event. Um, and then turning it around and making a pretty deep run in their uh, division of the championship in 97's case and, and winning the Detroit championship in 27's case. So, Well, you know, and I'll tell you a little story about the, and by the way, I want to give a big thank you for a uh, sub coming in. Uh, Sean Vanessa, 1720, 11 months in a row. Thank you for your sub. That will be, uh, you're making a donation over to the Afghan Dreamer. So thank you for that. Uh, but 987, um, so I am, I am see the Las Vegas Regional uh, last year. I'm going back again this year because it was such an amazing event. And 97, it was really interesting to watch because the alliance selection process was really strange because you had uh, the Warlords 2485 who had an opportunity to kind of scorch earth a little bit, I think, after they were declined and they didn't. And that allowed 842 to pick up 987. And they just rolled the entire competition, which is Falcon yeah. Robotics, who they end up beating, who 97 beat at, at, at championships. But it was a really strange alliance selection. Like, you know, and I'm trying to, keep a monotone straight face sort of thing during line selection because never want to show favorites or anything like that but uh man i was i was pretty happy for 987 when they got picked by 842 because i'm like they're they're going the whole way for sure yeah uh hum hum i, I never know how to pronounce your name hum Ader, hummer something like that uh twitch prime sub making a two dollar fifty cent donation towards the afghan dreamers thank you thank you all right, so we'll move on. I'll we'll throw us here to the 18th team, and that is Team 25 Raider Robotics. 73 of, or 73 match wins in the season. Uh, it's only 16 losses and three district event wins. So another team that you know you can put them right up there with 217 and 27 yeah. that have just been really good for a really long time. <clears throat> Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Raider Robotics is a team, like I said, long time, great team. Uh, with three blue banners this year, all in districts. Uh, yep. So oh, absolutely so dominating cool. with that. Um, at Mar, uh, going going into the finals, losing in three matches is nothing to sneeze at. Mar is a great competition and in, in getting uh, Carson into the semi. So uh, a team that has, uh, I think, been great every single year and they're getting the recognition that they need for it. Yeah, definitely. And we were, uh, we had an opportunity to be allied with them uh, at championship uh, in the, the Carson division and just being able to work with them and 225 at the same time and seeing what both of those teams are able to bring um, and work with two teams that have just really been standout teams for the past two years uh, was a great, um, great experience for, for our team and really see why, what makes them so good and so consistent. Yeah. Christine, are you back with us? Yeah. <laughs> well, so what happened? Give us a scoop on what's going on. I don't know. Fire alarms decided to do what they want to do. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Why not? Uh, we did just get uh, some more donations in. Uh, Nick ITH548 with the Prime Sub making a donation, $2.50 over to it. Uh, half Sham Half Wow donating $25 says, Attention all FRC members. The Afghan Dreamers need your help to compete in the U.S. 
All they need is a kit bot, some electronics, and a couple of plane tickets. All they need is your credit card number, the expiration date, and the three numbers on the back. Well, that's what we need, at least. <laughs> uh, but thank you for your $25 donation. Uh, half jam, half wow. Flying taco with a prime sum that will be donating two dollars and fifty cents as well. Uh, and then FRC for life, another five hundred bits, guys. We can't let everybody, you can't let the few carry all this. You need to step up and give what you can. A couple bucks is just fine. We'd love to read off your donations on here. If you can give more, we'd love to have those as well. But just call some people like Grumpback Will there. Watch some ads, I'm assuming, and donating some <laughs> bits for 15 bits. Thank you, Grumpback <clears throat> Will, uh, for your donation as well. Um, I think we're ready to do another uh, giveaway. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, man, I forget. What did we all have for giveaways, man? I'm already. Okay. okay so we got Daryl Board, the, uh, was it Catherine Johnson? Is that right, Christine? Yes. Um, and then uh, we got two gyro boards and then I tried, we're going to say that I tried my best, I think for a little bit later, um, <laughs> but let's go ahead and give away one of the gyro boards. This is from analog devices uh, and it's an absolutely phenomenal device you need to get. If you want to make your autonomous mode, uh, take it to the next level, make sure you go in and check out the uh, analog devices gyro board. Uh, Cause it is, we've given away a few teams already gotten some great feedback from that. So we're very happy as well. So uh, I'm going to use a random number generator this time and uh, we'll see. Uh, by the way, TMTRIS11 with the prime sub. You, I'm going to roll just to make sure you're in this as well. And I got to count down to one, two, three, four, five. And winning the gyro board is going to be the Overlord 6190 wins the gyro board. Congratulations and thanks for your donation, Overlord. Uh, you're winning the gyro board. I don't know. Have you already won a gyro board? You might have. Uh, but <laughs> Overlord winning the gyro board uh, from analog devices. So thank you for your donation. And uh, thank you for uh, supporting the Afghan Dreamers. Uh, Justin, we just got a donation in for $49.11. Wow. And it says, who are, who are the 4911 40, Cyber Knights? Well, we do have a Facebook profile, a pretty sweet website, and, local, and invite local teams to our shop whenever the weather is sunny. So like <laughs> once, uh, we never really had a presence here on Chief Delphi. I wanted to take some time and introduce uh, so 4911, but the, there's a little joke with who, who is 4911, uh, who is a, who's a team that, um, you probably wouldn't think of too much, but the funny thing is ju Justin or Christine, do you know how 4911 did this season? Uh, off the top I of my head, pretty no. well, yeah. uh, they were finalists at the Houston championship. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So winning the Carver yeah, division, yeah. right. They won, they won the chairman's award at the uh, PNW championship and nobody seems uh -huh. to know who the hell they are ever. Um, so definitely a big breakout year for 4911. So thank you very much yeah. uh, for that donation and more. I, donations. Say, I, I really respect the strategy too. Like one way or another, they're going to talk about our team. We're going to donate $49 and 11 cents. We're yeah. Gonna Dog. right yeah you gotta hope you have a low team number in this case yeah right <laughs> but high team numbers we'd love to have your donations yeah uh, as well too um also want to give some shout outs here uh brant balls so 20 bits the overlord is another five bits uh brant balls another 100 bits and 21 bits and 19 bits so i'm not sure if you're trying to give us a message or not uh but i don't quite speak binary so hopefully it's a good one and we appreciate all your uh donations so far uh we are we're, we're working our way down here What's that? Yeah, we're number 17. Yeah, we're number 17, and we're mm -hmm. down to uh, uh, close to $800 donated so far, guys. So nicely awesome. done. Thank you, everybody. What's that halfway point? Yeah. yeah. All right, so at number 17, we have Team 3310. That is Blackhawk Robotics out of Texas. And they had a record of 45 and 6 with two regional wins. Oh, shit. Yeah, so Blackhawk, I, I had a chance to watch at the uh, at championships uh, and pairing up with uh, uh, 118 uh, in the championships, a pretty epic uh, finals matches if you didn't have an opportunity to see it. Uh, so 33-10 uh, going up uh, against 16-19 uh, uh, and 16-78 in the finals. And, you know, even though – the Blue Alliance in 1619-1678 won both matches. Two very close matches. The last finals match by two points. Uh, and I was wow. happy to see uh, that at the uh, Texas UIL State Championship, they got an opportunity to pair up again with 118 and completely clean house going undefeated uh, in the elimination matches. Uh, they lost a couple of matches in quals, but just completely dominated as they went through. So uh -huh. awesome, awesome. 
Uh, and by the way, um, something uh, to mention with 3310 uh, as well uh, is that uh, Woody Flowers uh, finalist award winner too at the El Paso Regional. So uh, just it kind of just tells you good stuff. And shout out to, uh, Brian, I think it's Brian Seeley. I don't quite remember his last name, but uh, but shout out to you for that. Uh, and a great team at 3310. And we're just getting uh, more and more donations coming in here. Uh, coming in from, let's let's read some of these. Brant Balls just keeps <laughs> giving more. I, I think he just likes just saying his name over and over again. And that's, <laughs> that's okay in this standpoint. So uh, more and more bits, 31, 19, 122. Please tell us if you're trying to tell us something or not. I'd like to know. So, uh, but Justin, you're coming in with thirty dollars and fifteen cents, saying two can play this game. What do you mean by that? Thirty fifteen, man. We can play that game too. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much uh, for for that donation. Uh, keep the donations coming oh, in, guys. We we definitely appreciate it. And there's another. Oh, there's your your donation just showed up now. So you got your unstoppable on screen, Justin. Unstoppable. I'm trying to get some of these 7,000 level teams to, to donate here. Yeah. Well, they're the ones who are in the greatest need. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, <but>. true. <laughs> awesome. So we're going down, uh, t- going in our 16th rank, everybody. All right. And the 16th rank team is team number 67, the hot team, 69 wins, 28 losses, a district event win, the Detroit district in a Detroit district championship uh division winner that's right the district the detroit district championship they have their own divisions not to be confused with the detroit championship which also has its own divisions yeah right they have four divisions at the at the uh fim championship which is just absolutely insane i was looking back and i think it's there are more teams that competed at the fim championship this year than what i think the 2000 championship had all together something like that yeah it's like it's so crazy. crazy how big that is. Yeah. Can you imagine trying to coordinate the schedule for that district and then coordinate that district championship? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I don't know how FIM does it, honestly. Like with, with the, the way they're set up, they have some, I mean, some absolutely phenomenal people who are who are running behind the scenes and show, but just think about how many districts they have and how many teams they have. Like, how the hell do you get enough volunteers and coordinate? That's why, like, whenever I hear other regions bitch and complain about that, I'm like, just look at FIM. Like, mm. and so, you know, I always hear some people, oh, FIM, the, you know, FIM, they're burning out their volunteers. You know what? They're still doing their <laughs> every goddamn year. They can't be that bad, right? Uh, so it's it's crazy and, and how awesome FIM is. And, uh, you know, of course, Gail over in FIM and, and Jim Zondig and everybody else who makes that happen, uh, kudos to FIM because they're just awesome. And 67 is a team that, you know, I, I've been around since the 2001 season. 67 has been a name since then, uh, at least for me. So always a uh, huge respect for them. Loving uh, 67, love what they do every year. A little bit early exit uh, in the Archimedes division this year, uh, pairing up with 1114, uh, but still a great robot and a great team overall. Yeah, for sure. And if we're talking about, you know, I, I mentioned that, you know, 330 did very well their first year. Um, in my first year in FRC, 67 won uh, just about everything you could win in 2000, 2005, and they won um, they won six banners back when banners weren't nearly as easy <laughs> to come by as they that's, are today. That's ridiculous. So they won the Great Lakes Regional, the Buckeye Regional, the Chairman's Award at West Michigan, the Newton Division, the Championship Chairman's Award, and the Championship in 2005. So that's that, that was an impressive thing to watch uh, start to finish. Uh, my first year. That was my introduction wow. to the hot team. They won everything that you could win. That that is just absolutely <clears throat> insane. And yeah, so they they went to three regionals this year, which that year, which even back then, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Three yeah. events back in two thousand five is pretty nuts. But yep. man, that that is a crazy crazy year. And it's funny. And so two thousand five was kind of my my off year, so to speak. So I didn't pay too much attention to two thousand five, but. Mm-hmm. uh fun a fun game to go back and watch you had an opportunity to go and go and watch that it's a pretty fun game to, to watch uh the strategy being played justin yeah it was like uh for those you don't know it's kind of like you're you're scoring these these uh tetras they call them on top of much much bigger tetras but at the same time you're trying to kind of play uh tic-tac-toe um mm-hmm. a live game of tic-tac-toe where you can kind of you know if someone had an x you could place your o over top of it and it was just a, a very big strategic game and it was really fun to watch uh, the strategies play out. Uh, BTM two twenty five, which I think is Ben Martin, uh, another two dollar and twenty five cent donation for two twenty five. So thank you for that, and uh, a few biddies coming from uh, some other people you see scrolling in chat there. So thank you very much uh, for that as well. The donation, I think we are a little bit over eight hundred dollars total 
uh, for a donation. So thank you everybody uh, who stepped up. I mean, guys, like I said, we don't get a 2000. We'd love to do that. We'd love to be able to put the logo on the robot. But we're just happy to help uh, donate money to a fantastic team and a fantastic cause. Uh, but how you can help if you've already donated is start getting other people on. Start uh, shooting them a text. If you have what's called this oh, feature stop. called dialing on your phone, call them. I don't care. Uh, but get them going for that as well. Sean Vaness coming in with another $20 says, good luck, 7329 from Team 1720, the fixed gears. Awesome. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for that, uh, Sean, and your donation uh, and keeping this going. This is so awesome, guys. We really appreciate all the awesome donations coming in to help support a great team for a great cause. All right, want to jump back into our list? How are you feeling, Christine? Yeah, I'm good. I'm trying to make the fun the word fun and it sounds like we'll see how this goes all right but anyway at spot number 15 we have team 2590 nemesis out of new jersey Jersey. they had a record of 80 and 12 and two district wins and district championship win down in mar so that wasn't yeah that was not a, a, a mistake there 2590 80 wins that's the most <laughs> uh the most wins uh, of any team in the are on this list in the top top 25 here and that was just an official play they won 104 matches overall with their offseason plays so 80 wins in one season is is both absurd both in the number of matches they played yeah. and with the number of times they won those matches 80 and 12 is is uh absolutely crazy can you imagine like uh like your robot being durable for that many matches like no. that's, that's crazy. Or, well, or yes, like, I can imagine that. Yeah, well, yeah, right. you guys yeah. can in districts, right? Yeah, now, just yeah. poor Justin here, who's in New York, who yeah. plays about like a third of those matches for his. Yeah. Team. Ho hum, still in, still in regionals, two per year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you can't even go to Ontario anymore, right? Yeah, no. So fifty. If we see fifty matches a year, that's a lot. But yeah, oh. like going go back to the whole durability thing, you really have to plan when you're designing it's not just like how can we accomplish the game challenge but it's how can we do it in a way where we're going to last through all of these events right especially this year with you know there wasn't a lot of like smashing and stuff but a lot of like elevator movement and a lot of other stuff so it's pretty amazing 80 wins absolutely yeah. hold on guys huge donation coming in here uh, uh -oh. just now by c mcbride 166 3500 bits coming in uh, to help support the Afghan dreamers. No message, but thank you uh, very much uh, for your donation, uh, C. McBride. And I didn't say C M C Bride, so that's worth the $35. So <laughs> boom. He said boom. I'm sorry. Dropped boom, it on us. Says, yes. But thank you very much for that donation. Greatly appreciated going to a great cause here today. Unstoppable. Another donation coming in there from Rooster2655 is just cheered or just donated $26.55. Says cheers from Team2655 Flying Platypi. I love Thank it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, something I want to mention, by the way, about uh, 2590 Nemesis, where they really stuck out to me. They, I've been noticing Nemesis for a couple of years now, but if you uh, participated in our IRI fantasy draft that we had this year where we – I uh, had a live fantasy draft and then we set prices for teams. You could go in and participate. We had a couple hundred people do that this year. They were by far the steal of the fantasy draft at $5. For wow. a team. And at uh, IRI uh, going all the way into the finals uh, and losing in the finals, but by far the best steal of the draft by getting me a crap ton of points. Uh, so thank <laughs> you, 2590. I appreciate you even more because of that. All right, so let's keep going on this list. We're going to take a, a little bit of a longer break uh, in our top 10. But before we get there, we've got a few more teams to talk about, and we'll start in the 14th spot with 973, the Gray Bots, 33 and 11. So you can tell they're a regional team, not so many matches. <laughs> but the re regional events that they did attend, uh, they, win rec they won racking up two regional wins um, this season, both at San Francisco and Silicon Valley. Yeah, so early exit, uh, though, in the Hopper division this year, um, mm -hmm. ended up being the ninth seed at, at Hopper uh, and going on the quarterfinals in three matches, uh, pairing up with 399 and uh, 3284. Uh, so a little bit disappointing there from them. Also out in the quarters at Chesney Champs as well, too. But, uh, you know, the, the team coming back who uh, in the 2017 season, obviously coming off super, super, super hot, 
uh, with their uh, championship win at the Houston Championships and, and still producing a great robot. You can't win the championships every year, right? Uh, but still a, a great robot uh, with a couple of great regional wins that they had this year too. For sure. And I, I'll give them kudos because they decided to make more than like an eight-second uh, preview for their robot this year. So that was nice to see. <laughs> that was nice to see. <laughs> All right, so moving along, we're going to stay in California for our 13th ranked team, and it's team 1323, Madtown Robotics. 49-4 and four overall, winning two regionals and winning their division at the Houston Championship. So I always, in my opinion, and I know this isn't going to be the same for everybody, but Madtown Robotics is an incredible team that I feel like is always living in the shadow of like the 254s, 1670s, 973s yep. of the world. They're so good. They just, yeah. I just feel like they never get the credit that they deserve. I would absolutely agree with you. Watching them play this year, I mean, it was only in the webcast, but that robot was insane. It was. Watching him maneuver around the field. So good. And, and I think people from California are probably like, oh, I've heard of 1323. Right. I, yeah. I, I guarantee you people outside of the area, like maybe this year, because their robot you know, really did shine a lot this year. And uh, Steam, Dry, Steam Dry says uh, 1323 over 254. Uh, you know, it's really... Uh, their their team this year was just so good. Their robot was just so so good, and and to go on, you know, in, in the Robling division, which I think was uh, probably one of the weaker divisions at, at their championship this year, uh, made a really uh, uh, good team up with uh, Code Orange, uh, who took the number one seed and just looked absolutely phenomenal uh, going going in and uh, just completely steamrolling their division uh, essentially, and then. Uh, going on onto the Einstein field, uh, not quite, you know, getting where they needed to be uh, for that. But I've always looked at like the moment you get into Einstein, do you really control that much anymore? Because you can't control like you know the random assignment of other other right. divisions. And yeah, thirteen twenty three, just a, a great, sexy, phenomenal robot this year. Yeah, they had only lost one match until they got to Einstein. Two fifty four and thirteen twenty three have a combined record this year of one hundred two and four. <laughs> that's, that's insane they Most lost four coming from mad town <laughs> yeah right but so they're uh in in the rolling division they they suffered their first loss of the of the season 15 to one during uh the it was a qualification match too and then lost three more times uh but those were all on einstein up until that it was just one loss so that's just that's absurd to me <laughs> those yeah. two teams that's insane are, i had no idea yeah that's crazy Somebody asked if I'm attracted to the robot sexually, and I'm just going to tell you, quit being such a prude, you know? <laughs> Expand your horizons. Yeah. Robots are cool, too. <laughs> uh, somebody asked uh, where we're at in regards to donations. We are almost at $1,000 total, guys. So uh, absolutely phenomenal support. We're, we're so happy to see people stepping up, even the little bit, like that, uh, the 10 bits there by TMTRIS11. Uh, thank you very much uh, as well. So I didn't say yes or no. I just said quit being a prude, you know, mm -hmm. and expand your horizons a little bit do, i mean do what you do right i don't care so uh <laughs> scandal of uh 225 with the subscription uh so we'll be donating uh two dollars and fifty cents on your behalf over to the afghan dreamers thank you very much all right so someone who's better at twitch than me has to explain so clinot frc just gifted tier one subs to five people what, what? does that what does that mean so what that mean i didn't even notice that hold on here i gotta i gotta bring up my chat so i can see this on here where holy crap uh so yeah so it looks like uh they've uh done some random giftings of subs so this is actually what we're seeing here it's like clint Ott is really is really doing the subs for all these people uh but so what you can do essentially is you can say hey i'm already subbed to the channel and i want other people to experience to be able to sub the channel and use the emotes and support the channel and that sort of thing so clint Ott has gifted subs to uh scandal b225 uh dig blocks uh X the Milkinator X, uh, Brant Balls, and Steamed Rice. You guys are all subs now, thanks to Clint Ott. So thank you very much, Clint. Nice. We'll be making those donations on behalf of you. And guys, make sure you know start spamming emotes. This is the day you can spam. We don't really care. So go ahead and do that. Uh, uh, by the way, Oramis uh, with a Twitch Prime sub as well. So make sure that donation goes over to the Afghan Dreamers. And, and guys, keep it going, by the way, here. Make sure you're getting people in. Uh, if you're just joining us, make sure you have your whole team join. And, and if you're watching, it, we, we know some people watch on a team level. All of you log into your Twitch accounts right now just so we can make these numbers go more and more and we can show off our support for the Afghan Dreamers. And what appropriate timing for Clint to hop in because at the number 12 spot, we have team 1619 up a creek. 
They had a record of 59 and 15, five blue banners. A regional chairman's award, or yep, regional chairman's award, Woody Flowers finalist award, and two regional wins and Houston division win. Yeah. Crazy. So, so six, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say some, something somebody didn't know is our, our producer, Nick, who's behind the scenes right now, just moved to Longmont, Colorado. Uh, so I think he's probably going to be uh, mentoring on 1619. I, I, he he says he has been mentoring wow. on, on 1619 now. So another uh, now another uh, mediocre mentor joining the <laughs> ranks of uh, uh, 1619. Love you guys uh, so much, but a great season, Justin. Yeah, and I you know they're a team that through this show I've kind of learned a lot more about. And Tower, to your credit, you've always kind of been their champion every time that they've uh, been on, really talking them up, and they just keep kind of bringing the goods year after year after year and they're you know now they're sitting near the top 10 of the popularity poll which is yeah. not an easy list to, to get on so good for them that's awesome no i haven't have had made fun of their janky looking uh intake but past, <laughs> past that yeah i absolutely do love that team and 1619 is you know a team a team you know in colorado once again do you, do you think of teams from colorado very often no, no but if you think colorado you think 1619 right that's right um, and by the way, um, something I mentioned um, with, with all their blue banners as well, too, uh, getting a Woody Flowers finalist award. So when I give a shout out, I'm, I'm going to butcher names because that's just the way I am. But the Caddy uh, Oakland, Kathy Oakland uh, for a Woody Flowers finalist award, because uh, to me, that's that's one of the, just the coolest awards uh, to be able to recognize your mentors for for all the support that they've given. Uh, so love it very, very much. And congratulations, 1619 for a great season and, and some of the best uh, division finals matches I've seen. Uh, winning the division with Citrus Circuits against uh, 3310 and yeah. uh, Robonauts. That's exactly why we have one championship. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's why. All right, we're going to do uh, one more here, and then uh, we're going to take a, a short break. Some more giveaways coming up too. So once again, if you haven't donated, more giveaways coming up here in just a little bit. We still have four more giveaways to do. Did we only do two so far? Only two. What the hell's wrong with me? All right, we'll do we'll do some more coming up here. We're, we got a lot to give away then in the last top ten. So get your yep. donations in, and you'll have an opportunity to win uh, one of the uh, giveaways we have, including at the end we're giving away that really dope. I tried my best uh, blue banner towel that if you haven't seen so far, <laughs> maybe we'll ask Nick to bring that up in a little bit because it's so freaking cool. Uh, by the way, Ducky on Quack uh, subbing for one month. Thank you for that donation going into the Afghan Dreamers. And that, that tier one set was a gift from C. McBride. Oh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm missing that because the way it pops up, I'm seeing that in OBS yeah. that I missed that part in, in regards to chat. So thank you for that. I got you. Yeah, thanks, C. McBride. All right, so one more team here for the top 10. In the 11th spot is team number 33, the Killer Bees, 58, 21, and 1. Oh, I, I, did, I did not see another tie. Oh, so two teams had ties. But okay. 58, 21, and 1. Uh, district chairman's award and two district event wins for the killer bees a lot of um, yellow so, robots on this list something i want to mention since the question was asked uh have we broken a thousand we have broken a thousand the stream boss is down to 970 or 97,253 now 96,753 uh point, or hit points left uh, so we're doing really, really well. I'm really hoping <laughs> that the screen boss is being accurate in regards to how much it's <laughs> taken away, but we'll make sure we get a final count, uh, by the way. So if something's wrong, we'll make sure it's corrected and we'll make sure we get a final count and maybe fun will chip in just that little bit more to push us over the top because I really want to make this happen, guys. Uh, but I'm sorry, 33's robot, aesthetically amazing. Yeah. I never thought I'd see the uh, the dual four bar Vex robot in FRC. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> But it it worked, you know. It was really cool to see. Uh, I don't think it was necessarily a, a season that they're um, necessarily happy with. I mean, they had a great, you know, three blue manners, nothing to be ashamed about. Yeah. Um, but I just felt like over the course of the season, talking with some of their mentors, they was kind of, you know, we're hoping for a little bit more. I think. I couldn't believe when they got knocked out in the uh, quarterfinals of the uh, Michigan State champs. I know. That was I know. Pretty, that was pretty nuts. Yeah. Uh, and then quarters uh, out in quarters at championships as well too. So yes, yep, yeah. So somebody somebody says that uh, uh, that their uh, robot was maybe a little bit uh, overrated. Um, you know, I think I think there's they're a team that people definitely know about very well. And I think that produces them to be higher ranks. But this is the popularity poll, so they can be as overrated as they want to be uh, for this one as well. 
Plus, I think, you know, and, and, you know, they weren't necessarily trying to be unique, but you need teams like them that are willing to, you know, go beyond just the, the simple elevator and really try to push the boundaries of their swerve drive and their double reverse four bar and all sorts of stuff. You need teams that are willing to try something new and push the boundaries a little bit. It keeps uh, FRC really exciting and really interesting. Yeah. I agree. And I think to their credit, like the watching the match videos in the season, they weren't one of those teams where you thought they were going to slam the, like the teeter totter down at all. Exactly. Yep. There was a lot of that in New England. So it was nice to see that they figured out a way to avoid that. Yeah. All right. Let's do a giveaway guys. How do, how do you feel about that? I think, uh, Christine, can we do your, uh, your giveaway that you have? Yeah, definitely. Can you, can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, so I don't have one on me, but it is um, a drawing I did of Katherine Johnson. She is an epic badass, and that is <laughs> one of my new stickers. And it's it seemed appropriate for uh, this year's theme for the game. So. Yeah, Nick's got it up on screen here. So we're gonna we're gonna do that giveaway. Uh, yeah, we're we're less than a thousand to go, guys. I think we can make it happen. I I just have a feeling it's gonna somebody's gonna come in and just like bam, like here's here's a G spot right here, thousand dollars. I mean, uh, so can't wait to have something like that happen. Um, so I got to bring up my random number generator. How many donations are we up to? Okay. And I got to go down 19 spots. So I got to count here. Oh, by the way, LC910 donating uh, $4.69 says, hey, hey, 469, Los Gorillas time. So thank you for that, uh, LC910. Those three digit teams get off easy. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. And our winner for this is going to be, I got to keep counting, counting, counting. Uh, Inkling Six, Inkling Six, uh, getting the uh, winning Inkling Six had a big donation uh, earlier and is going to win uh, the awesome uh, sticker from Wordplay All Day. And that's Christine's site. And uh, you guys got to make sure you check that out on Etsy, Wordplay All Day for the Katherine Johnson uh, sticker and a bunch of other just super cool stuff. Uh, so, congratulations. Uh, the Inkling Six. Uh, we'll make sure we reach out to you if you're not on here uh, right now. I don't know what TM Trish said. It help my dad claim me today. Donate the stream today. What? <laughs> what? You know? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so yeah, if you are here, uh, Inkling, just shoot me a message with your uh, mailing info so we can get that out to you. And, and by the way, since this always happens, mailing info, we need your name too. It's hard to <laughs> send mail without having somebody's name or at least a business or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have their it, name, Inkling Six. That's what people do. They're just like, here's my address. I'm like, do you have a name too or what? Like, <laughs> I, but I don't think people send out mail anymore, right? So yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. But congratulations to you and thanks for your uh, big donation earlier. Uh, you're getting that awesome uh, sticker as well i'll probably send some paper to snowflakes <laughs> got a lot of them here <laughs> all right that person's annoying me and their name is annoying so that's we'll that's a wrap right. <laughs> just a 10 minute timeout we'll see how you do <laughs> once you come back so <laughs> but i think you should uh maybe change your name just saying all, all right, right so you got it you got to talk to me about this about this puppy gif what, what oh the top 10 thing yes okay so all right so we're gonna so we're, we're, we have a couple extra countdowns that we're gonna do on here uh so uh we'll see uh if nick can get that up on there so we're gonna do uh from our friends at mentorbuilt.com they've had some uh interesting uh top 10 countdowns and we're gonna bring up a couple of them but i wanted to bring up this one of course for christine uh with the awesome doggo that she has uh so we're gonna start uh all the way down at number 10 we gotta scroll all the way down to the bottom here <laughs> Yes. So we'll see what gets brought up with uh, doggo gifts, but we'll read these off. We just spoiled all of them. What's going on here, producer Nick? He says it's not loading. I don't know what he's talking about. So, all right, but we'll read them off. So this is going to be the top ten puppy gifts that perfectly capture uh, the FRC. Rating. So we'll go through, and if they come up great, if they don't, that's all right. But number ten. When you're a second year team and the new rookies are joining the team, <laughs> <laughs> dog walking right there. So um, I'll put, I'm just going to put the link in chat too. So do we like memes? No, not right. Actually, I really don't. <laughs> a lot of things, so that's all right. But I'm an old man. So all right, next one's going to be number nine that feel after your first competition as a rookie. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, sleepy dog. If you can't see it because uh, the gifs are not loading, uh, we'll describe them to you because why not? <laughs> uh, when you agree to be the, the mascot and realize it was a mistake. <laughs> number eight. Uh, These are actually there. phenomenal. Yeah, so if, if you bring it up because we're having a little bit of issues loading them uh, right now. Uh, so make sure you make sure you bring those up uh, as well too. And do want to give a big shout out. Just got a big donation. Uh, ten dollars from N.W. McLean. Ten dollars coming in. Thank you very much. Thank you for that ten dollar donation. And uh, Jessica X thirty one twenty eight with fifty bits as well too. So thank you for your donations and your uh, your bits coming through. Uh, we'll see if we can get that see if we can get that back up. But I'm just going to read uh, the rest of these, and you guys can bring up the website if you want that I just put in here. Number seven making your first friend from a different team at, at comp and it has a skunk <laughs> chasing a dog <laughs> man I, uh, these are great these i don't are, know why anybody has issues with mentor bill like i think these are like, spot on yeah <laughs> these are really really funny so uh number six is uh what the pits feel like at comp and it has uh, <laughs> a bunch of dogs that are uh just dragged in well we're gonna give a pause here to see if nick can get the uh screen up i think he's good now so we're on number six, Nick. I see it, I think. Yeah, that, that potato computer that Nick has, I tell you. So yeah, he, he has a really good computer. So all right, there we go. So number six, <laughs> what the pits feel like at comp. Uh number five, when it's time to clean the shop. <laughs> this is like me like trying to get kids to clean. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> like, oh, I'm helping, I'm helping. And they're like, they'll clean up one dust pile and then leave, right? Yeah, classic. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, number four, why won't the code compile? <laughs> I'm not a coder, but I'll say that's funny. Uh, number three, when the game comes out and the team is talking about RP, <laughs> this is as a rookie especially, but I think it's pretty much any first year student. Yeah. So how do we earn RPs? Yeah. That's wins, right? No, yep. it's different. <laughs> Well, you, you know, you think that would make sense, but it doesn't. Yeah. So, uh, number two, when you learn about how cool robotics is, <laughs> nice green screen there. Kind of looks like it, it's a different dog, I know, but it kind of looks like pasta a little bit. <laughs> Christine's like, no. <laughs> uh, and number one, when your team describes the hour commitment and you're like, what did I get into? <laughs> Classic. So, Chrissy and Justin, what like what is the what would you say like a dedicated student? How many hours are they putting in? Like what's that oh, like? Man. Oh boy. Um oh. drive drive team, it's it's two hundred plus without a without a problem. Yeah, and I mean I guess for non tech it's maybe not that intense, but it's really about the consistency and getting other people on board. Oh, yeah a lot of hours yeah for sure just got another donation coming in by the way penzi2 donating 14 dollars and 77 cents i'm gonna guess they're from texas torque uh yeah 200 hours a week right justin yeah uh, <laughs> uh but 14 77 cents coming from uh penzi2 thank you very much for that donation texas torque uh, a really big proponent in giving the afghan dreamers uh, the money they need to compete this season guys we are we're over halfway there but we only have about 15 to 20 minutes left in the stream so this is the time to get in your donations let's make it happen let's get uh, as much as we can in this team if we can get the logo on the robot hey that'd be pretty badass but we just want to make sure this team is set as well as they can so they can compete this year uh so justin top 10 coming up here and we do have another mentor build one coming at the top five but uh, let's start out with the top 10 teams all right, in the 10 spot, another California team, Team 971, Spartan Robotics, 39 wins, four or 34 wins, nine losses, and one regional win uh, to their credit over the course of the season. Really awesome robot, uh, This like the, the look of the robot. I think it looked better than it performed, right? I don't think anybody's going to doubt that. Yep. Uh, but the robot still performed. <clears throat> I mean, the, the funny thing is, is they were always like, oh, they didn't have that great of a season. They still had, you know, a dream season compared to, you know, 90% of the field in first, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but winners of the San Francisco regional, uh, as you mentioned, as you mentioned uh, on there, uh, I just love the look of this spot. Like every single year, the, this team just makes the coolest freaking looking robot. That, do you guys remember that 2016 robot? Yeah. Like the transformer robot that they had. Oh, we <laughs> Holy crap. Like, and, and this year, very ambitious with that. What do we call this arm? What is this called? I hate to be cliche, but it's a robotic arm. You know, oh, okay. it seemed like a very industrial yeah. 
robotic arm they'd see in a factory. It was I was I wasn't sure there's something specific where our producer Nick might whisper in my ear because I have absolutely no clue what the technical term is. I'm sure Aaron Hill uh, can correct us at some point. Space arm, somebody says. Double jointed arm. Okay, I thought there was like a cool fancy name for it, but space arm is good enough for me. Yeah. It was kind of you know <laughs> when I was talking about 33 earlier and same goes for 971. We're we're really lucky to have teams like this in FRC that are willing to again push those boundaries and try something really cool and really unique, and in most cases pull it off at the same time, which is uh, uh, an incredible feat in and of itself. Yeah, I think that's what that team is really built on foundation wise. It's like they're really invested in the design and the process. And if you look at any of their like technical judge books or, or technical robot book every year, it's incredibly well documented. Yeah. yeah. All right, nine robots left to go here. So in the ninth spot, a team that has been very uh, active in our donations tonight uh, is Team 225 Tech Fires, 76 match wins, only 13 losses, and uh, racked up two district event wins and a district championship win. Yeah, 225 Tech Fire really has been on fire the last couple of seasons. If you look at their robot, uh, you know, just very consistent, I think, is really the kind of the name of the game. Uh, you know, I, I, I looked at them in IRI, and – what a hell of a run they made. You look at their lines, they're with uh, Nemesis, right? They're their buddies, Nemesis, that are in uh, uh, Mar, once again, whatever the hell they first Mar, where the heck they call it nowadays, um, uh, with them as well at IRI and then uh, with 1024 local team uh, kilobytes, almost taking down 195, 2056, and 2168, uh, winning finals match number two at IRI and losing by three points in finals match three at IRI. I think it just really shows like how powerful this team uh, has become the last couple of years uh, and, and just doing phenomenal stuff. Uh, they also, uh, uh, they won uh, midnight, midnight mayhem, which was another off season event uh, as well too. I thought they were going to go a bit farther uh, at the championships with their Alliance uh, with you. They were with you guys, weren't they Justin? Yep. Yep. So, but you guys had a DQ one match, didn't you? Yeah. So an unfortunate situation with uh 25 autonomous mode, um, but they were just the class of our of our field. They were they were so stinking good, and we were we were thinking about or, you know we we're doing pre scouting for championship. And we were just sort of like, and if we could ever get on to an, on an alliance with uh, two twenty five, would really be a lot of fun and incredible. And for the matches we were able to play together, it was it was fun and incredible. Um, unfortunately, it didn't quite end up the way we wanted, but it was it was a great time. And our students were just talking about the other day uh, our drive team about how much fun they had. So it was uh, it was an awesome experience. And 225 was, uh, they were the first seed in Carson, weren't they? Yep. So, so I gotta, I gotta ask you just looking back, uh, do you think 25 was the right first pick for them? Uh, it's a, it surprised us a little bit. Um, but we know we, we kind of had a feeling that they have a little bit of a, uh, a prior relationship. I think they've, they've worked together probably quite a few times over the last few years. And, you know, if, if like we always say, if all else is pretty even or close, you're probably going to pick someone that, that you feel comfortable um, you feel comfortable with and you know, and you know, you can count on them. And, you know, I, I don't think I really, so from that perspective, it was a little surprising, but looking at our division in general, yeah. um, it wasn't the toughest, you know, it wasn't the toughest deal. It's not like there was like a, you know, an, Oh my God, sitting out there. They're like, how could they pick them instead of 25? 25 was a great pick. Um, but, and I, I don't know what was going on. Uh, as far as you know, who two two twenty five talked to, um, and what information they had otherwise, but I think it was a fine pick. Sure, and, and I gotta I gotta say, picking you guys up, uh, just objectively speaking, on my end, as as essentially the uh, last pick of the second round of picking, uh, what a steal that was! <laughs> yeah. guys, I saw that. I'm just like, holy crap! Like that's the, at that point, I'm like, you know what? They do have a. I think they do have a really good shot, and I think they could go far. Uh, you know, I, I think I expected to see you guys play against the number two alliance uh, going into the finals. And uh, I think that would have been a hell of a matchup had had that gotten there. Uh, you know, DQs happen. It's unfortunate. Uh, but great season uh, by uh, Tech Fire and still continuing the greatness every single year. For sure. 
All right, so we're going to move a little bit faster because we've got to try to finish this. Yeah, up. I'm we sorry. Don't say, no, no, not your fault at all. Uh, we don't, we don't want to say too much past 10. So moving from 9 to 8 is Team 2767 Strike Force. 71 match wins, only 10 losses, five blue banners, two district event wins, a Michigan championship uh, division win, the Detroit division winner, and the Detroit championship win. So just a, another great season from a team that really has come on super, super strong on the kind of the, the global stage here in the past few years, and that's Strike Force. <clears throat> This They're ridiculous. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a humble team too, really. Like it, it, it's funny that like this team has now won two championships in a row. Right. And there's still people I talk to who don't really know that much about strike force. Like it's, I think they're a team that they just don't toot their own horn. They just perform right? Yeah. And they, they just do, they do what they need to do every single year. They just completely dominate that the sword drive that they have is just absolutely sick. And, you know, after I saw them at uh, IRI in 2017, uh, talked to them for a while, we actually uh, very unfortunately had an interview that I think uh, got destroyed uh, with them on accident. Um, but I just kind of had that, that thought. I'm like, you know what, this team, they've hit that sweet spot. You kind of see that with teams sometimes. You're like, you know what, mm -hmm. this team has just hit that stride where they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're, they're, what's happening. They're just going to keep making great robots. And with uh, five blue banners this year, definitely uh, no uh, contests uh, like at 2767. It's just they're an elite team. They were there, they're there towards the top, and I'd love to see another uh, – would have loved to see a Festival of champion, Champions against uh, them – uh, and the uh, 254-148 alliance. I don't think they would have won, but I think they would have made a hell of a show against something like that. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're ready to move on to number seven. Yep, let's do it. Which is Team 195, the Cybernates, out of Southington, Connecticut. They had a record of 68-8 and eight with two districts wins. Of course, New England District Championship win, and the Detroit, um, what division were they in? Uh, Curie Division. Curie Division win. Another team that made it almost made it to Einstein, like real, real close. Einstein yeah. finals, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. 195 is just a team that's just been so impressive. And, and Christine, you know, of course, being in the New England district, uh, are, are they really, I mean, are they truly the powerhouse that they seem to be on paper? Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Uh, so, and uh, winning IRI as well, too, this year, uh, just absolutely just just dominating. I mean, they've really become the, the, the team. I'd love to see them pair up, you know, they paired up with 2056 at IRI, right? Uh, I'd love to see them pair up with like Strike Force one day. Like, yeah. I think that, like, could you imagine uh, something like that? Like, that's yeah. like an ultimate matchup. Like, Strike Force, why didn't you go to IRI? That's really <laughs> the question because it would have been really interesting to see if they would have 195 taken the number one seed at IRI, if they would have picked uh, 20, or no, they took, they were second rank. I'm sorry. I, I miscounted 2056 was the number one seed. Mm -hmm. uh, but it would be interesting to see if in that position, like who you would take uh, between those teams, because uh, these are just, these, these are elite teams of the North championships now, right? Because mm -hmm. you're, you're missing the 254s mm -hmm. and the 1323s and the Citrus circuits and the one and the one forty eights and the one eighteens and stuff. Uh, and one ninety five has just become that, that cream of the crop at, at the Detroit championships now. And looks like from the event list, 195 will be joining 125 at the Utica uh, Regional New York. So that'll be uh, nice. All, all the more incentive for, <laughs> for yeah, me to Yeah, we're hoping to get to play with them for once instead yeah, of right. just constantly against them. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and so all these these district teams are going to uh, extra regionals, and Justin's sport team can't make it past yeah, two. I, I know. There's <laughs> no other options for them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we need an it. escape from districts every now and then. Yeah. yeah no kidding. Especially our two teams. <laughs> All right, so we're almost to the top five, but we'll pause here in the number six spot and talk about Team 1114. Symbotics, 55 match wins, 15 losses, and picked up a district event win over the course of the season. Uh, you know, 1114, I think some people are looked at their bot like, you know, maybe overrated or something like that. That robot, when it was fully functional, was a top, top robot. They had some issues this year with their elevator uh, breaking, but 1114, I think, I don't think they really skipped a beat at all. No, they still yeah. won the. I'm sorry, they, my throat's getting a little bit sore, but uh, still winning the Ryerson University uh, district event this year. Uh, championships uh, going out. I think they were out in the semifinals in Archimedes, if I remember correctly. Paired up with Hot. Uh, so 
you know, they might have be might one of the bit uh, might want to been further up on top, but from a popularity standpoint, eleven fourteen obviously stands out as one of the top teams in first. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to really, you know, they they did struggle with their elevator over the course of the season. But if you watch a uh, semifinal match one at the from the championship event when they were with sixty seven, so sixty seven uh, pulls up to the the scale and gets a little bit of a head start raising their elevator. And then Symbotics raises theirs, and Symbotics is up, and the cube is on before the hot elevator makes it to the top. It was a crazy, crazy fast elevator. They did kind of fight it a little bit uh, over the course of the season, but when it was working, it was one of the best uh, in all of FRC. Do you want to read off a few donations we got real quick? Uh, Jessica X3128, another 60 bits. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Scandal B225 with 225 bits. Thank you for that. And Grumpback Whale with 115 bits. Thank you very much, everybody, for supporting the Afghan Dreamers team from Afghanistan looking to compete here in the States uh, as they make their travels. Uh, we're here to support them. Thank you very much. Uh, we're down to about $900 left. I'm not sure if we're going to hit our $2,000 goal, but we're very excited to give a very large donation uh, towards the Afghan Dreamers. Uh, we are going to end after our last team here, guys. So make sure if you have any donations, you get them in. We still have a couple more giveaways to do, three more giveaways to give away tonight. So make sure you get your donations since you have an opportunity to win those. So we're down to the top five, aren't we? We are down to the top yeah. five, yep. All right. Man, we got to end soon because my voice is going to call. There's a bad flu going around <laughs> going around where I am, and I'm I'm struggling here. But, uh, <laughs> oh. yeah, so uh, so we're going to uh, do our Mentor Built uh, top five uh, as we go through MentorBuilt.com. If you guys have not seen MentorBuilt.com, please go check it out. It is, it is pretty much the onion for FRC. Uh, it's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Is it the uh, onion or Barstool? Yeah, maybe a little bit of both. Uh, fun has been accused uh, by uh, several official uh, sources of being mentor built. We are not mentor built. I promise you that we will stay out of the open. Mentor built can do uh, what they do behind the shadows, and both are hilarious. <laughs> so I'll take it that way. But we're going to do uh, the top five shocking things that are less expensive than FRC's $5,000 <laughs> uh, initial registration fee. So uh, coming up with number five, we scroll all the way down to the bottom there. By the way, big donation coming in from Victoria with five dollars. Thank you very much awesome. uh, for that. And uh, Elliot eighteen uh, with a hundred bits. So, uh, number five, uh, Justin, can you read the second the like the under part for me since my Absolutely. voice sucks? All right, yep. number five, entry into about a dozen uh, off-season events. So with team registration fees ranging from zero to $850, off-season FRC events provide an opportunity for teams to get uh, much of the experience of official first competitions. Many of these tournaments boast a c compressed one-day format, a relaxed atmosphere, and no UL safety advisors, which is a <laughs> big, big plus. For the same price uh, as the official FRC first registration fee, which grants a team entry into only one or two competitions in a six-week period, teams could instead commit to participating in many unofficial events over the course of a much longer season. Number four, access to clean water for hundreds of people. Donating your initial registration fee towards access to clean water for, for people in developing countries is an effective and inexpensive way to produce positive, lasting, and widely felt societal effects. Since Quote, every $1 invested in improved water access and sanitation yields $4 in 12, I don't know how to say four that. $4 to $12 in economic oh, returns. Oh, $4 to $12 in economic yeah. returns. The $5,000 originally intended for the FRC initial registration fee will instead turn into a twenty dollars to $60,000 economic benefit to a marginalized community in need of and in need of and access to safe drinking water. I'm glad you're reading this because I'd struggle horribly. <laughs> uh, number three, 10, 24 hours of lemon cars. <laughs> Lemons cars. Is it lemons cars? Oh, okay, 24 hours of lemons, <laughs> not Lamont. Okay. So redirecting your initial registration fee towards the 24 hours of lemons, a hysterical endurance racing tournament series for cheap cars will enable you to purchase 10, that's right, 10 race cars for 500 hours each. Of course, before your first race, you need to make an additional purchase of tires and required safety equipment, such as roll cages and helmets for your 10 team racing alliance. But we're confident that these costs will still be less than what it takes to field one nationally competitive first robotics competition team. <laughs> uh, number two, 840,000 pounds of co carbon offset credits. The initial registration fee could be used to purchase enough carbon offsets to counteract the CO2 emissions of an average passenger vehicle driven for approximately 680 days nonstop or about two transatlantic flights of a Boeing 747. 
And the number one shocking thing that is less expensive than FRC's $5,000 initial registration fee, enough rubber bands to set a world record. Arguably the most, uh, the one that'll make you think the most for the $5,000 price of the initial registra registration fee, it is possible to purchase 200 bulk bags of number 64 rubber bands. We'll put the link in the chat. When these 425,000 rubber bands are assembled into a long chain, the length of the chain will surpass uh, by, by five miles, the 1994 record set by school children from Gettysburg Elementary School in Clovis, California. Breaking this record will, <laughs> will be a cost-effective STEM educational activity with students learning the engineering concepts of elasticity, <laughs> tension, and fatigue. And that is your uh, top five things uh, that are less expensive than FRC's uh, $5,000 registration fee. And Nick uh, posted a very nice... Uh, link in the chat if you'd like to go and purchase your uh, rubber bands in bulk. You can set the world record too. Okay, so it's 10 <laughs> o'clock. We're going to get back into yes. our list. We have, we still have giveaways. Oh, no. All right, let's do one real quick then. All right, um, real quick. All right, so, <laughs> all right, I got to go from the bottom here. Uh, ba, ba, ba. There are, yes, let's do a gyro board. Thank you very much, gyro board from Analog Device uh, Devices. I can't speak anymore. So gyro board coming from Analog Devices. And we are giving away to number 71. And number 71 is going to be... Ba -ba 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 uh, it's going to be Pence 2. Pence 2 uh, winning it. Uh, the gyro board from Analog Devices. Make sure you go and check that out. And thank you very much to Analog Devices for giving away two gyro boards uh, this way. But Pence 2, PNS 2. Once again, if you are in chat, just shoot me a message with your contact information. Always, we will reach out to you. But congratulations, you want a gyro board from Analog Devices. Make sure you go check that out, uh, by the way, and uh, see what the gyro board can do for your team in Autonomous. So it is Team 2056, OP Robotics. They had a record of 70 and 8, five blue banners, district chairman's award. Um, oh, yeah, that's what that is. District win and district championship division winners and district championship winners and Detroit championship division winners. <laughs> lots of divisions. It's a good season. Yeah, lots of divisions for the, the highest ranked uh, Canadian team on our list. I guess that's maybe a spoiler, but it's a fact. So another great season for 2056, yeah. OP Robotics. And um, IRI winners. Yeah, yeah IRI, IRI winners this year. For um, like so the fifth time in the past six years. <laughs> uh, so drive coach Tyler was actually uh, around uh, – where I live recently, about a month ago. So I caught up with him, had some dinner with him. And it was, it was great to talk to him just about the season and his team and everything. Uh, you know, just you, when you sit down and talk to teams, especially elite teams like that, you just, you learn what, you know, more about that secret sauce, right. And what really makes teams like that work and just the passion and dedication uh, that, that Tyler Holtzman and everybody else on that team puts in to make that team happen. It, it, it's no doubt why they're up there and why they're such a phenomenal yeah. team. Uh, cause they, cause they make it work. And, you know, in first, you know, first is about students, right? But you are completely blind and ignorant. If you don't realize that mentors are the ones that stick around for multiple years and great mentors make great teams, uh, and make great students. So that it's a byproduct like that. So, uh, the mentors that are on, on, on 2056, uh, absolutely phenomenal and making not only great robots, but great teams. And as you mentioned, uh, getting, uh, uh, a, uh, I'm sorry, getting all the blue banners that they did this year and a chairman's award this year too to boot. So congratulations, 2056 for a great season. For sure. All right, moving along. Uh, I guess they're all good teams at this point. <laughs> yeah, right. Another incredible team. Uh, back out to California. We're going to talk about 1678, the Citrus Circuits. 61 match wins, only seven losses, five blue banners, three district event, or they got to be regional wins, uh, a regional championship in a Houston division um win as well and their first chairman's award win yeah that's crazy by the way <laughs> like, that's right. their first chairman yeah i would i would have thought they they were perennial chairman's award winners with the, the way that that team just acts overall and the the class act that they truly are absolutely and mm -hmm. i follow you know i think we all do <laughs> of course that was a uh, facebook page and their their team page is always posting the cool stuff that they do um and you're not kidding when it's just shocked that that's their first because some of the stuff they do uh or in, in california and impacting teams all over really is just really inspirational um it's super Even just in their community too yeah yeah it's awesome 
All right. To the third ranked team in this popularity poll for charity is team 118, the Robonauts. 62 wins, only seven losses, three regional wins uh, for their 2018 season. Well, what else is there to say about Robonauts, right? <laughs> they're a team that, I, I mean, you talk about them so much where they're a team that just makes the most absolutely phenomenal uh, kick-ass videos for reveals that you'll ever see. Uh, yeah. How much do we have to bribe them to get on premiere night this year? Considering who knows it'll be the last year premiere night with no bag day, but, uh, but a, a team like that, that just performs so well every single year. Uh, we mentioned this match before, but getting knocked out in, in, uh, the finals of their division were some of the best divisional matches I've seen at championships in a long time. And just, just a great team overall, a team that just keeps producing uh, year over year over year, even after, you know, you know, losing a couple of great mentors to, to moving on and that sort of thing, this team just continually produces. And that's, that's what you want to see, right? Yeah. You can, you can say they're NASA belt. You can say whatever the hell you want. You know what? They're a fantastic team that builds fantastic students and a fantastic legacy that they've uh, built so far. hundred percent. All right. And moving on to the number two spot. It's All team the drama is in the two spot. In the two spot. So that is the Rover Wranglers. And they were 51 and four, a regional win, Houston division winners, Houston championship winners. Lots of spins. <laughs> Lots hey, of spins. Uh, can we bring it, Nick? I'm not sure. Are you able to uh, speak uh, generally to the audience? Yeah, I'm here. Cool. Um, I mean, I'd love to just ask you just about, about your season. Nick, Nick was a mentor on 148 this season. Uh, and can you just talk about just uh, the success you guys had? And I, I know the phenomenal just student impact that you had this past season as well. Yeah. I mean, it starts with a, a great set of mentors. I mean, you got JVN, you got Adrian, you got Jesse, you got Dylan. Like they're a great bunch. Um, that, Garrison's actually now on 148 now too. And from those mentors come some some of the best students I've ever seen in first. Um, my first season with them, I was astounded by how awesome the students are themselves, not including the mentors, which is just amazing. And the the school system there fully supports the program and everything. Like you can see in uh, the video there, we got our own shop. Um, they're just so awesome. Um, it's just all built around robots and it's pretty great. And it just makes a great program. Thanks, Nick, for that. Yeah, and 148, obviously, uh, great year this year and, and great years and multiple years. Great to see them get uh, some golds this year instead of all that silver that they got back in 2017. So I uh, can't wait to see just more and more awesome production, just inspiration. That's right, right, guys? Is yep. that just the way we look at that? It's just, you know, when we look at elite teams like this, you can either look at them and be jealous or you can look at it and be inspired and yep. inspired to keep building great things. And 148 exemplifies that. All right, and I guess it's no surprise at this point, last but not least, uh, in the top 25 poll for charity in the first spot is Team 24. 49-11. <laughs> Wait, who? <laughs> the Cheesy Poofs. Oh, gotcha. Three wins, no losses, undefeated, two regional wins, a Houston Division Championship division win, and the Houston Championship winners. Disgusting. <laughs> it just is. Seriously. <laughs> I think about that all um, probably more often than I should. Just as good as they are, how can you go undefeated in this game of all games where I feel like yeah. if there's any opportunity to lose like this time-based new system, it felt like this would be the hardest game to kind of control your own destiny. And they just, they, you know, they went out and just executed incredibly each and every match. And it was inspiring. Like you just talked about, you can either be jealous and, and mad or inspired. And I was absolutely inspired. Yeah. Want to give a big shout out, by the way, Clint Ott, uh, FRC, gifting another five subs out. Uh, so congratulations, Jessica, uh, 3128, Overseer, Bow Hunt, Bow Hunter, Fizzy, and I'm not going to pronounce that last name because I can't do it. Uh, congratulations to the five of you who have been gifted subs from Clint Ott. Thank you for that uh, awesome gift, and we'll make sure that uh, the Afghan Dreamers are going to get that as well. We have uh, two more giveaways that we're going to do right after right after this right two more uh, including the frc towel and we have a set of bat hawks as well too so that's coming up in just a little bit so make sure you get those final bits and the uh final amount of uh anything else you want to put in there so we'd love we love all of you i mean seriously how awesome is this uh i believe if our counter's right and i need to verify it because sometimes it screws up that we are over 1100 dollars donated wow which is that's so awesome cool. 
And I'm, I'm going to take it a step further. Uh, we, we have at least one more show before the end of the year. Uh, so our show next week, will continue the donations as well too into our awesome. next week's show. So I uh, love to do that as we go through, but guys, anything else to say about 254 or are we just going to leave it up? Their robot is just absolutely sick. Their team is absolutely just amazing. And that, yeah, I'm wow. good at leaving it there. <laughs> what else can you say? <laughs> they all did right, all the talking cool. for us. <laughs> yep. Very, very cool. All right. So uh, with that said, we're going to do uh, two more drawings. I want to do one for the audience, by the way. I'd love to have uh, the audience uh, get on this. So I need to bring up Nightbot real quick because we'll do the second giveaway that way. Uh, and by the way, Tristan Matthew, thank you for that dollar donation as you come in. So let me bring up giveaways here. Sorry, I got to stall for just a moment. Uh, but let's do a keyword. Uh, who wants to give me a keyword to put in the chat? <laughs> that's a great great keyword what is it nick <laughs> spin to win okay spin to win all right so type in spin to win right now and that's going to be to uh win the uh beach towel the i tried my best beach towel so spin to win one word that christine just put in there that's what you're going to put in to win the beach towel we're going to draw for that in just a moment but we do have a set of bad hawks that we're going to be giving away here from team 1720 fix gears and let's draw a random number for that one and then there's one, two, three. And that's going to go to uh, Victoria, or whatever your name is. <laughs> Victoria, <laughs> uh, you won the Bat Hawks um, from Team 1720. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Make sure you go check out the Bat Hawks. You can pick them up at andymark.com. They will tell your voltage. You just plug them in. It tells you what the voltage is of the battery, so you know it's good to go. If you plan on being in the playoffs, you need to have a set of these. Like, that's not just me trying to sell you. You are dumb if you don't have a set of these. Get a set. It is so, like, the price point on them is so competitive, and you will be ready to go for playoffs. So, Victoria, congratulations on winning that. I got to type in your name. Uh, so, you win the Bad Hawks. Uh, make sure you reach out to me. I'll reach out to you as well. But spin to win. You got about a minute left. Spin to win for the uh, beach towel. Can we bring up that beach towel on there, Nick? Let's see if we can do that. Seriously, check this out. I tried my best. Christine, what inspired you to make this? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a phrase that we throw around on 125, and I decided to make a banner sticker out of it. <laughs> and then I realized the towel is the same shape, so. <laughs> fair, fair enough on there. Uh, by the way, some uh, we had some more bits come through, so sorry if I missed a couple of them on here. Uh, Jessica with a few more bits. Uh, and yeah, we'll have the donations coming through the, the next week as well too. Scandal B with another 225 rep and his team. So thank you very much. You guys ready to draw for this? I think we're ready to call the night. We've been going for a long time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's, like a, it's starting to feel like premiere night over here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. East yeah. Coast people going out. Hey, you know what? It's good for, for a good cause though, Justin. Come on. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right. So winner of the beach towel is going to be uh, Dare underscore winning the beach towel. Congratulations. Uh, you've won this I Tried My Best Beach Towel from Wordplay All Day and First Updates Now. So thank you very, very much uh, for that. And thank you to everybody for all of your subs, all of your donations. As it sits right now, Clint? I think, I think, I'm just like over tonight. He just clicked gifted five more. I think that makes 15 on the night, though. I think he, oh my he did God. five more earlier, yeah. and we kind of we kind of missed it. I no, I, I I announced it off. Oh, I know. Did you? All right. Yeah, but JHT Frog Frog Five, uh, Saltus Von Waltus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, Do One Hundred and Shelby A. You guys are all now subs. Thanks to Clint Ott FRC. Thank you very much, Clint, uh, for that. Wow, guys, this has been a night. Yeah, I mean, it's, we've raised a record amount. I just want to put it out there. I think last year we raised about eight hundred dollars for our charity stream. We've already smashed that. Thanks to you. Feeling. We're gonna keep it going. Uh, new sub emote due to Clint. Yeah, I think we'll let Clint pick out a new sub. Why not? Um, yeah. but we've actually absolutely smashed this guys we'll make sure the donation gets through i'm going to keep it open for another week in case people want to donate after the stream uh we'll let it run through there uh fun will be making a couple of donations as well too because we love these guys uh we love the afghan dreamers who can't wait to get them to come to the states to compete and i also want to give a big shout out to 1477 texas torque uh for making it happen so i'm going to wrap up the show here as we go through as more donations come in, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I do want to say a couple of things. Uh, next week, new show premiering on Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be our Ask Me Anything show. Uh, the show title is going to be rolling out. I know Nick Cousins just sent me the show thing, but I can't check it for some reason. Uh, but 
live interview with 1678 the citrus circuits yes a team that has won five or been to einstein five times won in the division uh absolutely phenomenal team uh you're gonna have a chance to ask them anything you want they're gonna be unveiling some of the secrets that makes their team what it is so you need to stop and check out next tuesday brand new show coming in we can't wait to pilot the show with a fantastic team of 1678 and host nick cousins uh, with the show as well uh, if you're an ftc fan we do have ftc every other wednesday we just had one this past wednesday up, uh, uploaded on youtube so make sure you check that out uh, i want to give a big shout out to our executive producers at patreon.com forward slash first updates now a lot of people have already donated here today but uh ben martin donnie kurtanjak clint ott and austin thank you very much for being uh co-executive producers to help keep fun going and if you're interested in donating directly to fun you can do so at patreon.com forward slash first updates now guys before we wrap up anything else we want to say or are we ready to check out no just thanks again for everyone that that uh donated like i said in the chat doesn't matter if it was one cent or a hundred hours uh it's all going to a great cause and we just can't thank you enough for your support tonight absolutely somebody asked what we're at right now and i'm gonna i have to do some uh deductions based on these bits and there's going to be a couple other things uh that is a little bit different but i think right now we are at approximately uh 1180 dollars donated uh wow. tonight as well so phenomenal somebody's asking is this a top 25 poll for 2018 or all time this is just a uh, n nonsensical BS poll for no reason. <laughs> uh, it's just a it's just a popularity poll, as we put it. Uh, the final 2018 poll we did way back in May. You can go check that out if you're interested as well. But thank you everybody for donations. We're gonna say good night, uh, and we'll keep the donations going. You can still donate at our Streamlabs link. I'll put it in our Discord, and make sure you join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. But with that said, we'll see you next time on first updates now. Thank you, everybody, so much for everything. We'll talk to you then. See you next Tuesday. Take care, everybody.